Boom! Hello, replay viewers. It's not too often I get down here in the winter time, and our heavy snowstorm just passed by earlier this morning. Uh, it's a little interesting. We've had uh, a west wind, but the waves are still piling in in, in vast uh, winter quantities. Hi, Paul. So this is pretty cool with the sun slanting, slanting down. We used to come here every. Hi, Karen. We used to come here every Sunday in the summer, and we never had waves like this. Uh, good morning and uh, good afternoon. And Merry Christmas to you. So you can see I'm, we're on the edge of the beach. Uh, back in my, my younger days, all these spiffy houses were, were camps, but of course, beach property being what it is, they all got knocked down and, and built up. I like some good storm waves, too, and this is very interesting because... Uh, the wind is blowing off the beach. Uh, so what you see here, yes it is pretty, what you see here is, is the heavy waves are, uh, Boxing Day, all right, uh, the heavy, the, the big waves out to sea are, are feeling bottom and you can kind of really tell how far the uh, the shallows stick out from here based on where the, the surf is. There aren't any uh, hardcore surfers right now. Uh, they might be some up the coast up in that direction toward Rye, New Hampshire. And it is pretty pretty nice out here. The uh, the temperature is not bad for for winter. Uh, it's not windy here yet, but down toward Cape Cod, it's probably blowing 50 or 60. And if it isn't blowing that much yet, it's going to. We're going to feel that wind. It's going to probably be blowing 40 tomorrow, and uh, that'll probably be at least twice the temperature, the high temperature. So there's a few people out here, and the dogs are loving it. They can romp around. I used to come down here in the spring when this uh, spot I'm standing at was a camp and if the wooden shut boards hadn't been put up correctly, the, uh, the glass that was exposed would all be sandblasted. You get a northeast storm running for three days and any sand on the beach just comes in like, like, like a heavy duty sandblasting machine. I seem to have gotten the uh, the Arabic speakers. You thought this was Australia, but I'm not talking with an Australian accent, mate. <laughs> no, well, it couldn't be Australia because because look what's on the ground. It's uh, you probably don't get this. Uh, you probably don't get this if you're Australia. You don't get this white stuff, right? Yeah. So what's happening today is is geologically the. Uh, the sand that's been washed away by bigger storms is being pushed back in a little bit. There's a, there's a big erosion problem here because most of the storms come from this direction and I don't know if you can see it or not but there's a, the Merrimack River ex exits uh, right there and the sand coming down from the north builds up on the north side of the jetties and doesn't quite make it around and, and over to here. Yeah, you know, white stuff everywhere. So this side uh, suffers a dearth of, of sand, and the north side suffers a surplus, and it sort of piles up offshore, and there's no money for the dredge to come. <laughs> That's what your local looks like, white. There's no money here for the dredge to come and pump it in. So years and years ago, there was a, a period of... Uh, thanks for checking in, Paul. There was a period of uh, really bad erosion, and, and camps in that direction were, were falling falling over the edge of the top of the dune. Uh, so this, this line is uh, one back. Yeah, I'm sure, Karen. Uh, the place I'm standing, the house, the little camp, used to be right here. Uh, but they moved it back many, many decades ago because it was about to topple. Are well, you going to say topple into what? Well, the sand moves around so much that there used to be quite a cliff right here. But it's uh, kind of uh, piled up. But the beach is a lot closer to the ocean than it used to be in my day when I was little. This is just spectacular. Privet. Privet. So a lot of people live here now. Back in uh, you know the 70s or the, even the 80s, all these houses were camps, and hardly anybody had the wherewithal to live live in a cold cold place. Well, it's not. It, the ocean has risen. It's also high tide right now, or close to it. I can tell by how the jetties are almost overtopped. There's a uh, 10 to 12 foot tide here, depending what the uh, what the moon is doing. 
And about 13 or so miles in that direction is where I work in the spring and in the summer, and I, I put the binoculars to it. I can see the lighthouse, but I can't see my island. Uh, yeah, there's this, I don't know, you know, it's a little strange that these waves are coming in from the east when the wind's been west, or maybe a bit south. It's over in this direction. You can kind of see it in the distance. There's all these, uh, all these thicker clouds. That's Cape Ann, off in the distance which uh, offers some protection from, uh, from waves in that direction. But this is a spectacular day. Uh, when it gets really windy tomorrow, if these waves are still uh, piling in, it's really cool to see them come in and have the tops being blown off, like over here. Oh my goodness, I don't believe I have 155 people. I think something's gone wrong with my counter. I saw that, uh, that counter going screwy. Uh, yeah, lots of residents uh, live here year-round, Mindy. That wasn't always the case because the uh, they really were camps. There was no insulation and probably no heater. But then property values got, got to be much more and, and it wasn't cost-effective to keep a camp, so you built a house. And if you build a house, you might as well live in it, right? Oh, I bet. You know, and this is, for, for around here, this is this is fairly good for surfing. And I'm sure that if people aren't out today, they might be out tomorrow before the uh, before the west wind knocks the waves flat. So you can see it's uh, must be getting on toward uh, toward uh, three fifteen. I'm guessing because the sun angle is so low right now. Everyone that's on the beach is uh, walking their dog. We did have one person, and this is the odd thing: one person cross country skiing, which is an extremely difficult thing to do. Uh, you, you need fresh snowfall. The uh, the wind blows the sand around, and so if even if you have snow, it gets buried by by drifting sand pretty quickly. No, this is the east coast. I should have my map on. This is the uh, top northeast corner of Massachusetts. See, Karen, I'm I can tell time by the sun angle. See, look, you know the shadow of the building. I know sunsets in about an hour, so I'm just going by the sun angle. So this little uh, A-frame house has been around for, for eons, but but you can look around here and see all the other ones that that are much newer, newer looking, including including this monstrosity that I'm standing on the deck of. I did like it when, uh, yep, nearby Newburyport is right over there. You see that person walking? They're in Newburyport. I'm in Newbury. The the city line goes uh, up that street. Yes, this is white snow. That's what I've been saying all along. Uh, I'm sort of uh, lucky that it's not wicked, wicked cold. This is the Atlantic Ocean on the east coast of, of the United States. Yeah, this is, I don't, we, we would never get sand this color. The sand here is kind of uh, orange quartzy tan. No white sand here, that's for sure. So in a few days, all this snow will be, uh, well, it's not cold yet. You, you can see over here, there's a, uh, a lot of blowing. Yeah, no snow in California. Well, I bet California has snow up in the mountains. But the wind's going to increase uh, tonight, and the snow will blow around, the sand will blow around. People, for people living on the front row, they get, a, they get an interesting view. Uh, there's only one down, downside to that is is you can lose your electricity. Hello, hello. You can use you lose your electricity for a length, lengthy period. So so you better be prepared. Yes, that's snow. So you better be prepared to be self-sufficient with heat and I have a method of not keeping uh, keeping your pipes from freezing. Yep. Well, I think people probably are surfing. They're just not doing it right here. Uh, the trouble with this spot is there's no place you can park for free. You have to go up into uh, New Hampshire, which is off in that direction. And uh, people go surfing up up there. Wow! Didn't see snow for a long time. Yep. So I've I've seen people uh, surfing in in December. There's nothing wrong with it as long as you dress dress for it. Uh, wear your dry suit and uh, hoodie and booties and and everything. And uh, keep active. You'll stay warm. Of course, the winter time is. Uh, oh, that's cool. <laughs> the winter time is best uh, best for for surfing because the waves are very vigorous, as you can see here. Uh, this is the odd thing: we've been having a west wind, but the little surge that's coming in 
is feeling uh, the shallows. You can see where it's, where it's breaking out in the distance. It's feeling the shallows and uh, there's a lot of uh, a lot of shallow places out in the distance there. And eventually that sand might uh, might get migrated toward the beach where it's where it's needed. Uh, we just had a storm pass through. It was all the snow came down today uh, with so, some little bit of wind. And the strong wind is is coming uh, tonight. But uh, and very cold. Very very merry Christmas back to you in uh, Sweden. I don't know any Swedish. Oh my goodness, 60 uh, rounding up 61 degrees. Oh the outer waves. Uh, it's very hard to tell because they're so far away, but I'm going to say at least uh, at least six feet. It's really hard to make a guess because these closer waves are are sort of exaggerating things. But I think those outer waves are uh, are uh, a pretty uh, long period, so when they feel bottom, they they pile up and, and give you this spectacular uh, view. What's the time? Uh, the time is just after three in the afternoon. You can see the sun setting here. So people are walking their dogs for the last time before going in. They've probably done their, finished their Christmas event and they'll probably have a fire 9.15, good. They'll probably be going off to a dinner thing. But you can see there's a, a big uh, section of open space over there and the snow is, is blowing out into the ocean and the waves are crashing in. So it's really, uh, I was glad to have a signal here Where's Plum Island? Plum Island is the top corner of Massachusetts in the United States. Um, it's a clear day and I put the binoculars in that direction and I could see White Island in New Hampshire. And you can't see it, but way off in the distance I can see uh, a headland which is up by Hampton Beach in New Hampshire. So, so I'm looking at two states right now. Uh, if it was low tide, there's some chance I could see, see off in the distance an island in uh, in Maine, with the binoculars, I could maybe see three states. Yep. Well, I'm about to scope out my. Uh, it's 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 not uh, obviously not warm, and my fingers are, are exposed. So I'm going to scope out, and uh, I'm glad to share this this very nice view with you all for a little while on Christmas, or if you're in uh, Australia, uh, Boxing Day. I'm going to know I have to work on my. Uh, yeah, the ice and snow-covered jetties. Well, the uh, the jetties are not iced or snow-covered because the waves have been washing them. But uh, I think I saw some ice-covered buoys uh, yesterday. So here's the uh, the final view, and we wish you uh, happy holidays, everybody, even in Kentucky, where you probably don't have uh, this temperature to contend with. And uh, we'll see you next time. Bye for now.